February 14th, 2014, and we are back in the gym doing a push workout. Uh, here you're about to see the second exercise of my push workout, which is the incline dumbbell bench press. So here we're going about eight to 10 reps. And if you guys are wondering, the reason we're not going, uh, you know, like a lower rep range, three to five, three to six reps, is simply because I prefer to stabilize a barbell um, and go heavier as opposed to using dumbbell. Um, I don't like to, you know, have to use 130 pound dumbbells and kick them back one at a time and uh, just kind of, I feel like the risk of injury is a little bit higher uh, with using dumbbells for extremely low reps as opposed to using a barbell. So that's just my personal opinion. I like to save my lower rep work for the, you know, flat bench press or the flat decline or the decline bench press as opposed to um, using dumbbells and going extremely, extremely heavy. So personal preference there but just something to think about. And before we go any further with this commentary, I want to give a huge shout out to Chelsea over at Chelsea Lifts. She has an amazing YouTube channel and the song you're hearing in the background, she actually linked the artist uh, in her description box one time. So I checked out that, uh, that YouTube channel. I really like the music on there. So let me know if you guys like this music with commentary kind of thing. I think I like it. So you might be seeing more of that real soon. But um, yeah, she's actually going to the Arnold Classic this year. So her, I know like Max Tuning, um, I think Tony might go, uh, Matt Ogus, Chris Lovato, and yeah, just a lot of people, guys, very excited for it. So that is February 27th. I will be leaving Houston. Wow, that's in like, that's nine days from now. So um, today's February 18th, very excited for that. But uh, besides the point, here what you're seeing is some weighted pull-ups. So these are very, very great compound movement for the um, lats, for the back. Uh, so here we're going about six to eight reps and I don't always do just weighted sets, so I'll do about two to three, uh, you know, six to eight rep sets, and then I like to drop the weight completely and just do my body weight for a few sets, um, you know, 10 to 12 or so. Really squeeze the lats, and I find warming up with pull ups and doing that as my first movement uh, really gets me just good workouts with that, guys. So uh, here's Nikki doing her compound movement of choice, which is the deadlifts, uh, doing 135, so very impressive con considering she weighs like 102, 103 pounds. Um, five foot one, and for those of you wondering, I always get asked. I'm six foot, and right now I'm about one. <laughs> not gonna lie, guys, I'm, I'm about 174, 175 um, right now. So 174, 175, kind of had a nice little eating whatever I want week, and uh, yeah, that's where I'm sitting right now. So um, looking decently lean though for my body weight, in my opinion. So um, I look a lot better this year at 175 than I did last year at 175, which is good. Uh, so. Next exercise, you're seeing some underhand lat pull downs, and this is my second vertical pull of the day. So vertical pull, and you know, anytime my hands are above me pulling down, I like to do at least two of those uh, kind of movements during my pull days, and at least you know one horizontal and then one row pulling from the ground. So um, I just like to get different angles and everything. And here's Nikki going. She, now she's going wider grip. Um, she didn't do you know the wide grip pull ups at the beginning like I did, so that's why I changed grips. But uh, next exercise is a straight barbell curl mm, yeah just barbell curl um great movement uh i'm gonna start doing these more i've been doing a lot of dumbbell alternating curls i'm gonna start throwing in the barbell a little bit more frequently uh flexing the tricep at the bottom and really just controlling the weight there's no need to be going extremely extremely heavy here and just using the front delts but uh with that said on the last few reps i do like to get a little bit of sway guys so this is almost like my quote unquote uh cheat set i guess you could say or cheat exercise so whenever I'm doing a cheat exercise, I like to always be sure, which you'll see later in this video, I'll do a few sets, really, really strict form. So um, that the barbell curl is a supinated motion. So meaning my palms are facing up the entire time. And on this exercise, you can see I'm actually supinating my wrists, right? So I'm starting with neutral position, supinating my wrists up and uh, curling. So getting a great contraction, squeezing the pinky, and you can do you know both at the same time or one arm at a time. I, I even throw it, you know, mix it up with the sets. But um, it's always good to get a supinated curl and a supinating curl, and uh, you know some kind of either hammer curl or a pronated curl, a reverse, you know, neutral grip curl or you know hammer curl, reverse easy bar, reverse whatever you want to do. But um, just hit all the different heads of the bicep. Here is my horizontal row. Uh, of choice. So the reason we're not at my gym, guys, is because we're in San Antonio right now. We're in San Antonio during this footage. Uh, so I tried out this, this machine. I like how you can kind of twist your hands with it. So uh, I did about four sets there and finished off with a very strict form bicep curl. So like I said, guys, um, if you do some cheap moves, be sure you're doing some very strict moves as well. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. Thank you for watching. You can always email me at christianusonfitnessyahoo.com if you want to uh, inquire about online personal training. I offer meal plan. Uh, macro coaching month to month, a 90 day transformation package, and a workout plan. So, thank you. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.
CG Fitness. Thinking he can play b-ball. He can. Oh, that one was close. Just trying to make an imprint on the game.